Nation. Hi, this is Dr. Stephen Smith, and this presentation is about SIBO and biofilms. SIBO is a small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. These are responsible for many medical problems. SIBO is implicated in about 70 to 80 percent of irritable bowel syndrome cases. It is also found in many chronic illnesses. The most common presenting symptoms are gas and bloating, but that doesn't have to be there to have a biofilm. Bacteria in the GI tract live in what we call a biofilm. Biofilm is defined as an aggregate of microorganisms in which the cells adhere to each other on a surface. These cells embed themselves in a self-produced matrix of extracellular palmaric substance. We call it EPS. Biofilms are everywhere. The plaque on your teeth is a biofilm. The scum on your sink may be a biofilm. And the one thing you may notice about biofilms is they're pretty sturdy. You have to go to the dentist to get them scraped off. And this is a problem. As the bacteria in the small bowel multiply due to a number of causes such as excess carbohydrates or lack of adequate stomach acid or impaired bowel motility, the biofilm in the bacteria also grows with them. So, after a while, you have a pretty thick biofilm, which can impair absorption of nutrients like vitamin B12. Biofilms are not solid, they're porous. They have channels which they can communicate and food and bacteria can move back and forth through these. One of the purposes of the biofilm is to protect the bacteria. So when you're trying to reduce the number of bacteria in the small bowel, the biofilm can hinder that process. So in order to treat SIBO effectively, we also have to treat the biofilm that they live in. So we've developed a biofilm protocol which is designed to break down the biofilm so that the excess bacteria can be killed off with antimicrobial layers. And the first step is to add enzymes. Uh, we use a protolytic enzyme that's especially designed for the biofilm. Uh, it must be given on an empty stomach or they won't work um, because they'll just start digesting the food. We then give the enzyme about 15 to 20 minutes to start breaking down the mucous membranes. The second step is to add killing agents. These agents will kill off the excess bacteria. And now we have a problem because we have dead bacteria and their toxins and some other materials that can be toxic. They can be reabsorbed and make us feel ill or cause cramping and diarrhea. So to prevent this from happening, we want to use an absorbent product to bind these up. So we use what's called a cleaning agent. This is really a bunch of binding agents such as bentonite clay, pectin, chlorella, activated charcoal. Many times we'll just use soluble fiber. The only thing we have to be concerned about these binding agents is not to take them around anything else that you need, such as thyroid, because they don't care what they absorb. So if you take your thyroid medicine with the binding agent, the thyroid won't get absorbed. So you have to give an hour before, an hour after you take a binding agent before you take any other thing that you want to get in your body. The next step is just keep repeating this process. But we increase the number of enzymes we give at one time and we increase the number of antimicrobials that we give at one time. So what we're trying to do here is take this layer down, layer by layer, so that um, we don't kill off all of these organisms at once, which would cause a lot of side effects. When we're done, what we want to see is a smaller biofilm with friendly bacteria in it, and this should improve absorption and reduce symptoms such as gas and bloating. After we've got the biofilm back to a normal size, then the next step is to start repairing the bowel, and we'll discuss that in a future video. Okay.